Hello YouTube. Today we're gonna start a new series. Remember the how to make things? And today I decided in my head to make a boomerang. So what you're gonna need is um one sheet of paper. I'm gonna get one sheet of paper. One here. And then get it like this. I like that. Like this. Folder in time. Mm hmm Okay. I'm trying to make sure if it's lined up. And then once you get it lined up, you have to start creasing it. Because we're gonna cut this paper in half. You can use scissors or your nails like Then open it and open it, flip it over, open it, flip it over. Do the same thing to the other side. Because if you do it once, it could like rip and it could mess up your paper. You're gonna have to start all over and then you could ma get mad. And that. Then start cutting it in <laughs> half. Oh, excited. Okay. You see these? Just only get one sheet of paper. Then you fold it in half one more time. I know this is getting annoying, but you have to do it. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing. Okay. Open it. Then cut it in half. Just kidding. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. You get this, these two sides and put it in the middle of that line. Okay. I'm trying to measure. Like that. Come on, come on, come on. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. Oh, it's so close to the hard part. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it should look something like that. I know the same thing to the other side. Um, and the next video will be talking about subscribers and. Um, yeah, I'm still gonna do vlogs, and I hope you guys enjoy my vlogs. This is my first How to Make series episode. Okay, once you're done with that, it should look something like this. You should be able to open it, but don't open it. Okay, get it like this, then fold it in half. Get the part where the, this part. Do it in this part, don't do the other part, or else will mess it up. Only this part, this part, that could open. Like that, measure your finger through that, so it could, could, when you crease, crease, click, bend, bend like that. You know what that's called, so do this, and increase. Make sure your sh your paper should look something like this. And then you see these two flops, flap flap. I'll fold it in the middle of the line like a triangle and crease it. Very good. Okay. Open it back up, turn it around, do the same thing to the other side. Crease. That's a crease. Really good. And the next video. I mean, the video after the subscribers talking about it. 
I want to make a spike balloon. Spike balloon or balloon? I'm, I'm going to think about it. Okay, you should have something look like this. You open it back up. Then, okay, open it. You should have something like that. Then open this part. You see that diamond right there? Okay, we need to do something to that thing. But first, fold it like a mountain. Mountain. And crease it. Do it like that and then crease. Okay, what you're gonna do with the triangle is um fold each like each corner. I mean each side like one, two, three, four. Each four sides and crease. Look, like this. Like, crease it. Each. I have to do these two now. We're almost done, guys. Almost done. I know you've seen this from Rob's World, um, other YouTube channels that make paper things. And, yeah, when I was in second grade, um, uh, and my class, okay, I'll tell you. You flip it over. You have this part, right? It's, it's popping out like 3D. You flip it over and do the same thing. And when I was in second grade, my teacher, she said, this is something fun. Then she typed in YouTube, how to make a boomerang. Then when we got to this part, <laughs> we were in Rob's world. And and then, um, keep increasing it. And then this part was hard for me, and I kept watching Rob's video, how to make the boomerang, and I said, oh, this is getting easier now. And you never give up. Oh, just two more. It's getting a little hard. Okay, flip it over to the part that is 3D. Okay, this is the part that is 3D. Okay, here's the hard part now. You f you put in the surface, make a V shape, then you get the pointy part, the end of your um, diamond. And then see that thing right there. You get this thing, get the point, and put it, put it in there, like that. So I'm gonna do that and increase, like that. Just have something like this. Okay, we're not done yet. You have to get this part. Okay. See how it's like that? You get this part. You put this part that is standing up. Put it inside. Like that. And. Yeah. Try to not mess it up. Or else. You'll mess up your boomerang. Give me a second. Okay, I got it. I'm just creasing. Um, wait, what part do you have to be in? Oh, oh yeah. You have to be in a part that has that half diamond part. Then, you see that? Open it. Open this too. You get that. You get, um, you see that line right there? Put it in this line, like it should be shaped like a um, triangle, something like this. Wait, wait, no, reverse. Wait, no, no, no. 
you do it with it. Like that. And then, you can see that line in the triangle right there? You get this, get this part. Wait, what am I? You get this part, put it in a triangle. So we, so it could be, make, so it could make two triangles. Okay. Should look something like that. Then, you get this big rectangle and fold it in half. No, you don't fold it in half. You just close it. You see these, this pocket that all the triangles we made? Wait, you try to, you open it. You put this point inside the um, pocket. Okay. Okay, then you crease. I'll tell you in the end of the video how how to throw it after we're done making the move ring. And you do the same thing to the other side. Same thing. Just making sure you guys are paying attention. Okay. Crease. And close it. And then put the point part inside the pocket. Then, um, just like that, you should have something like this. You should, you should have something looking like this. Oh, um, when I paused it, I made two. Um, with the other people, you do the same thing, okay? And I made two. Can you make a W just Wait, you could. I saw Rob World. It was hard. You need tape. Okay, and um, let's see how to throw it. Get ready for some action. Okay, let's go. Action time! Uh, my feet are. <clears throat> okay. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, let's go, let's go. Okay, here's how to throw it. Put in a part that has the line without the half of the diamond shape. Um, you get your finger. Um, put in a point right there. Get your thumb and do it and like that. Um, do it with your right hand. That's what I do it with. It's better. So here we go. Oh, wait, let me tell you something. If you throw it like really high up in the air and it hits something, um, it cannot come back to you because these are, this is reverse and this is non reverse, so it's circulating. So it can't com really completely circulate when it hits something. So let's get to throwing. Three, two, one, go! Oh, it came back, it came back! I'm, I'm trying to catch it, guys. It's gonna fall. Try one more time. Test. Got it. Test three. Our final test. Slow motion. One. Three. Oh! Wild. Yeah, and that's how you make a boomerang. Ah. The next video, I'll be making a spike balloon. I thought of it in my head. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.